<laughs> hey guys, it's Yuri here. Um, sorry for the long uh, video delay. I just been I just finished a picture that took me for freaking months to do, it, and it is just uh, just I don't know. It was just frustrating because I was trying to get my vote motivation back and all that. But uh, anyway, I thought I showed you some old drawings that I found, but. Turns out I didn't have that, I didn't bring that much with me from my home in Cali. Uh, I really should have my mom send me that box that I have in my room that has uh, all my uh, old drawings from high school. And so I thought I'd share my high school <laughs> pictures with you. Now, uh, just to uh, let you know that my high school years are a bit different than yours. Mine was 7th through 12th grade, so some of these are kind of, I guess you could say, middle schoolish, but, uh, whatever. So let's just, let me just get started with this one. Now, this one is actually <laughs> a character that me and my friend actually drew together. We actually took turns drawing parts of this character that is still a pretty good, pretty decent drawing, I have to say, for us when we were in high school. And, uh, me and my friend Kira drew this together, and... It was, and we did it in the car. I don't know how we managed to pull that off, but somehow we did. Yeah, somehow we managed to pull up a drawing. We drew together in a car. I don't know how that happens, but her name is Eula. And she's some kind of fairy, gothic red, pinkish fairy. I, we chose red because it was my favorite color, and pink because it was her favorite color, and also because my main character, Zira, loves red, and her main character, Kira, has red, and before you ask, no, we already had these, our names, Kira and Zira, picked out before we even met, so, let's move on. This is, oh crap, sliding everywhere, sliding everywhere, man. This is, um, one of my friend, my friend Joey's character name, M, that I drew of him. <laughs> my god, the pose ain't too bad. I actually do like how I did shade the clothes a bit. bit but the fur is just, oh, wow. <laughs> it just looks like he has a turtle shell of fur on, the, on his back. And, uh, this is, uh... And another character of his, actually, which is Max name. Um, did I put his name on here? Shoot, I did not put his name on here. Uh, Machina, Machina. I yeah, it was one of those. But uh, he, this is the main character. This is like his teacher slash. Let's say a uh, teacher slash the grooming bad boy. I guess you can say. And uh, yes, he is not supposed to have a mouth. <laughs> Close up of the badness. Close up of the badness. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. But, um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, this is just something that, uh, my God, I did in high school because he made a comic that, uh, he drew that I actually, uh, read and it was actually really good. I think I still have it. I don't exactly know. But, uh, he, this is, this was, like, one of my favorite comics for him, and it, it was so much fun. Mr. Comic Joey, and hope you're doing well with your rap career. And, uh, this is, um, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell or not, but, oh, God. This was, uh, this is, a uh, Michael, focus, camera, come on, focus. You're not gonna focus, are you? Of course not use it. Or maybe um, will this help? Yeah, that helps. Uh if you can read his name, that's Michael James. And um he is actually a part of a really close friend of mine. <laughs> and uh for those of you who don't know, he's an actor who does the one of the werewolves in uh, Vampire Diaries. And um it was uh, <sighs> It was, I don't know, it was like, I still sort of somewhat like it, mostly because it was signed by him and he thought it was still good, but, uh, God damn it, my name! Uh, I'll block that off. I'll block that off. Uh, but it, but it was one of my, his head is squished and all that, I mean, like, uh, what was I thinking? But, 
eBay always seemed to like it, so... Oh, an unfinished color drawing. Great. <laughs> Uh, this was a character redesign I did for one of my characters, um, oh, what was her name, uh, Kula, I think, oh, crap, I don't remember, <laughs> shit, but, uh, she is one of those cat demons that I did, but I was trying to make the cat demon not goofy or anything like that, I guess you could say I was trying to do... I don't know, try to t make it more scary and more in a, scary in a way because, I don't know, I don't know, I was just, I'm pretty much obsessed with cat girls, so trying to make them not all terrifying, I guess you can say, but anyway, I don't know why I never finished coloring this, I don't know why, I still love the outfit, but, you know, it's just, yes, and that's a coffin she's holding on her back. I don't know why I never finished this. I I don't know. I really actually am puzzled by that. Let's move on. Oh god, this one. Um uh, people some people still give me crap about it was either this one or another one because look, they're naked even though their freaking parts are covered. High school man. Uh this is sort of a thing I did for my character Kane. Uh dealing with her dealing with her and her demon self. She's kind of similar to, I guess you could say, Ichigo in a way, where she, he has a pretty much a demon inside of him. And don't spoil the manga for me, please. I don't read the manga, so... Uh, and I'm hearing the anime is continuing after this, and so... After the manga's done, so yeah. No spoiling the manga, please. And the eye is another demon. She is a little... She has a lot of demons! <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, I still... Still kind of enjoyed it, but I'm I kind of want to redraw it actually now that I'm looking at it. I kind of want to redraw it, but there's a lot of other drawings I want to get done. And yeah, <laughs> oh, the weirdest relationship I've ever created out of all my characters, and I've created some strange relationships. This is my friend Marina, oh, my friend. This is my character Marina. This is Akane, a cane, no, a cane. That's her name. Her name is a cane. And she's a blood-hungry psychopath who always cries blood. She's, as you can tell, a bubbly, happy-go-lucky person. And these two are the best of friends. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, there's more to these characters, but uh, I don't want to get into it. I do like how I still, like, somehow I did some of the shading on this, but... I don't know, like, ugh, cut off of the hair, like, right here, bugs me, and I don't know. I did like how I did shade with the blues and try my best to do my best with color pencils. <laughs> or color crayons, I believe that's what they call them in Canada, but, well, I live in the States, so there's that. Oh, and this is, um, Karu, Karu from, um, Orin High School Host Club, and it's signed by Greg! It's signed by Greg Gary's! Oh my god! Um, I actually drew this while we were waiting for, yeah, we were waiting to go see Greg Aries, and we were bored, and it was a pretty long line to go see him, and, uh, and I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll just draw one of his characters, and the only character I knew him from at the time was Kairu, so I thought I'd just draw Kairu on my, and I think someone had, like, a box that had Kairu on it, and, of course, his brother was next to him, and I couldn't tell the difference, and, of course, my best friend was the only one, so I was like, thanks. <laughs> You're kind of creeping me out a little bit from that, but, anyway, I'm glad he liked it, and I'm glad he signed it, and still one of, it's like, I think this one and Michael and Mike put on my wall for memories. I just, <laughs> they're back! Oh, my God, the chibis. I actually did like how I drew my chibis back then. I don't like how I draw my chibis now, but... Like, I like these chibis. I like these chibis. They're so cute. Although, I need to redo his eyes. His eyes are bugging me. I don't know what was this thing with me of drawing people with square eyes in high school, but... And I don't know what was the thing with me of drawing parts of the hair really dark and then just go extremely light. I, I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God, this. Uh, the thing about me in high school was, for some strange reason, I had a thing for big booby ladies. I don't know. And I am a girl. Anyway, this is my f character, Ramona. 
Um, she's the Grim Reaper's daughter, so that's why you see little devil minions and... Uh, you know, I kind of really do want to redraw this one extremely. Maybe I will. Uh, of course, I would put it more on the side than anything. But uh, it's just her relaxing. Yes, she smokes. <laughs> and uh, she's a good friend with my character, Kane. Oh, and this is kind of a bit of a Shugo Kara crave I've been going on. And I just drew my Shugo Karas. And um, I just drew myself. And I, I, was, I had a thing against coloring skin. Because I think this is around the middle school time. Or 8th or 7th grade for me. Like, this is... Middle school days just for me, I will just say that, just to save confusion. And, um, yeah, that was her. Another one I had was Angelina, because I love singing. And, uh, that's the song from Hilary Duff that I was singing. I don't know, it was this episode of Hilary Duff at the time, not anymore. Like, she released a new song, and I really don't care. Angel Singer. And then here's a devil painter, because... I was a painter because I loved art so much I thought I drew a painting. So Yeah, so those three were just mostly because I was on a Shugo Kara crave. And <laughs> this old comic. Well not really comic, it was a sort of a drawing thing. It's like my friend Kira and me, I was spending the night in her house and there was a scene going on where she was talking to her friends and her they were being stupid and I basically she was like, Idiot, that's not what I meant. Talking to stupid people again? Yes! Very stupid people! <laughs> oh my god, I drew her a block for a bed, and look how teeny tiny I am. I guess that's for perspective, per se, but still. It is... Ugh. Wow. Ah, I still find it funny. I might redraw this one, too. And, oh god. The tortures years of my youth. I love torture. This is my friend Ryan. That is me. And I don't know why I drew myself as a tsundere. I actually thought of myself as a sort of a tsundere back in middle school and high school. And he was just the idiot protagonist. And, <laughs> and uh, it was strange. I always, for some strange reason, bonked him on the head whenever he did something stupid. And I love torturing him with doing stuff like this. Let's see the next one. Yep, the next one. Torturing him by putting him in drag. Like this. <laughs> you know? And a joy hit me in a kawaii maid outfit. And I don't know why I only color the blush and the sweat drop blue. My camera's not going to focus and I don't feel like moving everything. And then for some strange reason, I drew him in my... This. Sorry. Pretty bad setup I have here. Is that going to focus? My, yeah, as you can tell, I'm using my phone camera again. Um, I drew him as one of my characters from Zira, and why are you dressed as Zira? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, now you focused. Bastard, right after I said it. And then, like I said, I don't know why I only did the blush and the pen and these gel pens I have. Uh, this is the worst I ever got to torturing the guy, because, I don't know. Him and I are still, him and I are really good friends still, so don't worry about that. And then the last one is this, I don't, I this actually worked out good, is this character I have, my android named Lucy. And good lord, is it like wonky. She's like moving to the side. The wire is all freaking weird. It's, what was I thinking? Well, that's what every artist says, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I recently also watched the Bad Boys movies as well. <coughs> Sorry. So, yeah, this is basically an old character that I have that I actually wrote a comic for. Hang on a sec. Yeah, I did a comic for her on the one page is out because... I'm thinking about picking it up again because I still like this story. It's t <gasps> oh my god, a drawing. It's something to pass the time in high school and also uh, because uh, my friend was also doing a comic. It was my friend that I had mentioned earlier, uh, the one who did the Machina comic. 
And I thought it would be good to do that, just mostly to pass the time and all that. And good God, do I really need to redraw this? Oh my God, these are awful. Well, that one's not that one's not too bad, but still. And um, I'm not gonna go through it with you guys because there is how many chapters do I have in here? Oh my God, the perverted thing. That's the one thing I wish I can take out. Let's see. Oh, damn it, I passed it. There's Nick. Here we go. Uh, four chapters, and they're all pretty damn long. And uh, this one's my this one's my favorite, mostly because I did like how I did. Because this was like Chibi Central for me. It was like practice and chibi. Yeah, look how surprised they are. <laughs> oh my god. And okay, this one I love. I love this one. That and, uh, the chasing. I always love that chasing. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that page I really like. And, uh, this chasing as well. Although this one's a bit better, but still. Something I really need to redraw. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's an old comic. I mean, look how claustrophobic the first page is. The first page is seriously just a claustrophobic mess. Yeah, so... I'll leave it right here, actually. So, yeah, guys, that was... My drawing is in high school, and... Oh, God. <laughs> Boy, have I grown. So yeah, I am interested in picking this comic back up again because it was pretty much like my baby even though I'm more into fantasy more than sci-fi a little bit. But I still would like to pick up this drawing back up again. And well, I guess that's it for now guys. And um, I'll work on the next beeping as soon as I can. I might have to do videos now bi-weekly now because of this phase I'm going through. So then until um, next time. Later Gators.